everybody, Anne here, sitting inside the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. It's going to be a warm, sunny day today. I can't believe it, but it's going to rain tomorrow, so I've got to go cut up this big old tree. It fell on my neighbor's property, and it's a cedar tree, so I'm going to take care of that. They told me that I could have any of the wood on their property and cut down any of the trees I want. Um, but this one has already fallen, so I'm going to go cut it up, and you guys going to be surprised it's a big tree. Anyhow, um, puppy time. Well, I see Junior gets up all by himself. Sonny hasn't quite gotten it yet. I can't believe Papa is letting his puppy stay up in the bed with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're getting so big. He could chomp those dogs in a second, but he doesn't. Kiss, kiss. My neighbors had a pretty large cedar tree that fell down, and they kind of cut, they didn't cut this apart, but they took some of the limbs down, just kind of pushed it aside. So they said I could have any wood over there that I wanted. So I trimmed a bunch of that stuff off and uh, cut it into pieces and hauled it all the way up here. And I've already cut up a little bit. The top of it I got cut up. So these little pieces right here, that's what I cut up and split. Um, I didn't split all of it. Some of the smaller pieces I'm just going to leave whole. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get that taken care of. I don't know if I'm going to get it all done today, but I'm going to try. And I've been using my beautiful log splitter. Whew. This this pile had gotten kind of down, and I just moved some of the wood over. Um, but I'm going to start filling it up from the back. And I, I do kind of cycle it. I move it around. Um, the stuff that's drier, I keep moving it up so I can put, um, you know, wetter wood down there. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I'm going to have plenty of cedar. i got to check and see if there's any eggs. Nope, that's a fake one. There were like three chickens lined up. Oh, yep, I got three chickens. There was... Coco was in the box, and Scarlet and Beauty were standing outside, so I don't know. I know that big one is from Coco, but let's see. I don't know. I, I think the little one, the littlest, I mean, it it's getting bigger. I think that one is from a new girl, and Roxy always lays pointy eggs, so maybe Roxy's laying again. It's hard to say. I'm not getting as many eggs a day as I used to, but uh, then again, I don't have the leghorns, but look at that massive egg and two others. I don't know. Maybe Beauty lays a pointy egg too, but I don't think so. I don't know. I'm just grateful. I wish the Easter eggers would start laying. <sighs> I'm taking a break and the postman pulled up. I was hoping it was going to be my DoorDash card, but it wasn't. It was something way better. I got a Thanksgiving card from Jeanette P. Grandma Nett. Yes, I've already, oops, I've already opened it. Here, let me show you. Look at, it looks like another homemade card. Happy Thanksgiving. It is a pretty Thanksgiving card. And on the inside, she wrote me a beautiful little note. And we give thanks for all our blessings. Absolutely, I know I do. And there was a nice donation to the channel. So I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. Um, I'm going to go get me some puppy pads. <laughs> yeah, it's winding down. I only have to put two out now. and But um, Sunny still goes on the floor. So thank you so much, Jeanette. This really meant an awful lot to me. That is Beauty standing her ground. She's going to lay an egg. And this one here, Miss Pris, she's beside herself. <laughs> she should be in that nest. Would you all look at that? It's the middle of November, and I got a strawberry. Yeah, I'm going to take this off and feed it to the chickens. Feed it to the gentleman. One lucky gentleman. I'll break it in two. Maybe two of them can have it. Okay, Campy's trying to tell him where it's at. 
They're afraid of him, though. They won't get next to him. They're all roosters, too. He's just going to end up eating it. I don't know. Maybe not. Go ahead and eat it, Campy. These roosters can find their own food. He's trying to... Oh. Is he going to put it down? He put some of it down. He's trying to be a good rooster. I don't know. Maybe I won't put him in my belly. I'm kind of thinking I will, though. He's a pretty big rooster. Well, hello, Miss Pris. Thank you for leaving Beauty alone. Miss Pris and Scarlet look very much alike. The only thing that sets them apart, really, is the shape of their combs. And I think... I think Scarlet has the little, a little bit of tufts around her ears. Thank goodness Romeo is getting his tail feathers back. And Roxy has completely feathered out again. She had molted so bad. It was very distressing. But she's got them all back now. And that is how long it takes for me to cut up one section <laughs> off of this tree. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of these logs that I did, so you do the math on how long that took me. And that's not even counting these little baby logs that I cut up from before. But it is time consuming and energy intensive, but this next part I totally love. I'm going to split all this up and put it over there. Done. I decided to move some of this wood and this wood, stack it up higher over here. So I did that so I could put all the cedar basically in one row. Um, I couldn't get another row started, but I didn't want to take up a whole nother row, so I kind of did some that way because there was a big space in there. Anyhow, um, yeah, that's a pretty nice stack. So whatever I cut up next is going to go here. Phew, lots of work. Don't forget, I've got all of this back here too. Now this little thing here, the top of it, I was touching it, just barely touching it, and the, the, the tent broke. It's just, I mean, it doesn't last very long if it's out in the sun. So I went ahead and put a large garbage bag over it, and then things just kind of collapsed backwards. So that's okay. It's just kind of leaning against the shed, but it looks kind of funky. But I've got this open a little bit today so it can kind of get some air and dry out. But it's going to rain tonight, so I'll cover everything back up. Oh, I forgot I had the rest of that soggy poplar log that was sitting out there. So there's no sense in letting it sit out in the rain. 
I'm going to cover it up tonight and it has dried considerably but it's still kind of soggy so yeah now all I got to do is build up this part and I don't know I think I, I need a little bit more over here um, fill up the rest of that tent thingy and I may be okay for the winter yep Beauty laid this egg and Miss Pris hopped in right after her and laid this egg so that's pretty awesome oh I think Roxy did lay the other time, but that's definitely a beauty egg. I just did the water thing, brought more inside, empty out containers, refilled them. Oh, I had to wash them out and do that kind of stuff too um, because it's going to rain and I want to have as much stored as possible. So I got all that done and Romeo's out there singing to his ladies. Huh. He, he always does that. Anyhow, whew, lots of work today. But it was a good day. I hope your day was good too. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.